What's up, everybody? In today's t-shirt video, we got the homie Nick. Nick, what's the, your company name? a and Custom Prints. And what type of products do you do? We do t-shirts, uh, tumblers, phone cases, anything. <laughs> anything. You're going to learn how to sublimate some masks over here. And also, you also have a YouTube channel, right? Yep. Nothing but free name knowledge. But in this video, you're going to get some tips on what equipment you should get started because you work from home, from a room. Yeah. You make it happen. You're also going to see how to make a sublimation mask step by step and also some tips that will help you grow your home t-shirt business. So make sure to stick all the way through the end so you don't miss this knowledge. All right, Nick, what are you gonna make? Sublimation mask. Hey, masks are selling, right? Yeah. So, you got the design ready? Yeah. What's next? The, gotta get the sublimation paper. What are you doing to try bringing new customers? Um, honestly, if I see like uh, construction companies out mm. in the street or something, pull over, hey, here's my business card, you guys need uh, t-shirts, mm. we make t-shirts. Anybody, I go to a store, here's my business card, you guys need mm. something, hit me up. So, we're making some masks, but you can make so many themes with sublimation, right? Yeah, you could go from masks to tumblers to mugs to uh, phone cases to mouse pads to keychains to Everything. a bunch of other stuff. So here's the phone case, and it comes with this. Oh, you sublimate on this. Oh, you sublimate on that. Yeah. Got you, got you. And then take this off. It's sticky. You just put it on here, and there's your phone. Case. There's your phone case. All Actually, right. my phone has a phone case. Let me see. Let me see your phone. Oh, you made that one. Yeah. All right. Okay. And now. Where do you act with it? Like for example, part-time, or you try to make it into a full-time income? So I got laid off when the whole COVID thing started. Yeah. I've been, yeah. I was a school bus driver. Yeah. Oh. So I've been unemployed since March of last year. Yeah. Um, ever since then, I've been trying to focus on this. And um, recently, like two weeks ago, I registered the business, got my reseller permit, got everything. So to me now it's like, Alright, this is it. It's full time. Damn, bro. There's no going back. How do you feel about that? Being legit. Man, to be honest, it's scary. It's scary, huh? Because to be honest, right now, yeah. I'm, I'm on unemployment. Yeah. Because uh, I'm unemployed. Yeah. Um, but now with the business, I start making money, I'm going to have to get off unemployment. Yeah, oh, man. Hey, bro, but, but it's one of those things you have to do. I have to do it. If you really want to grow. And also, I feel like that's really another motivation for you to be like i have to make this work yeah because you know you gotta pay those taxes bro oh, the is around <laughs> over all right nick well what you doing right now where we at okay so i applied the i haven't applied i take down the design to the mask yeah. so for sublimation i suggest you guys get heat tape you do need heat tape to hold it down because there's this thing called ghosting when let's say i just leave the design like that and with the motion of the heat press, it moves a little. Like mm. you're gonna get a little shadowy effect on your design. And this, I use this to see through to make sure it's uh, nice and centered. Oh, you use a tablet or what? It's a, no, it's a, what's it called? A pad light, like a, it's a what? weeding light. It's meant for weeding. You put yeah. your vinyl on there, you see through the vinyl, see where the lines are at. What? Yeah. So I use this to make sure the design is nice and centered. Then I take my heat tape. Also make sure for like sublimation, you gotta lint roll everything. Cause if you live, if you leave lint, it's gonna mess it up. Uh, and you need your parchment paper. Parchment paper. Uh, you need to put one in the bottom so it won't like stain the, either your pressing pillow or your heat press. Um, 60 seconds for 385 ish. Uh, hopefully it comes out. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully we're gonna fight it today. Find out. <laughs> You got your gloves in there too, man? Heat glove. You got to get a heat glove. Oh my God, man. You, you know everything. <laughs> yeah, this thing gets hot. All right. There we go. Dang. Dang, that's simple, Nick. And that's it. And see how the ink transfers? Yeah. That's where you want to put this so it's either so you don't stain the bottom of your press or your pillow. I got you, got you. All right, Nick, so let me ask you, man. Yes, sir. There's people that want to get started, do what you do from home. What's some advice you got for those people that want to get started? Um, don't go broke, start small. Get yourself yeah. a nice little vinyl cutter. It doesn't have to be the Cameo Plus. You can get a 
cricket, um, just have a nice little heat press. If you want to do sublimation, a little sublimation printer just to start off. Um, once you, you know, start scaling, then you go from there. I also have a YouTube video uh, on my YouTube of how to start with the t-shirt business. Hey, go check it out. Put it in the description below. So, that's how you make a sublimation mask. Hey, Nick, thank you so much for the knowledge, man. No, thank you for having me. And, of course, go show them some love. Learn, get more knowledge in the t-shirt business. We've actually made a second video because you got caught up with copyright. Yeah. You're going to court right now. Yeah. You guys could check out that video right here, all right? You gonna go to jail, bro? I hope not. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> no, I well, can't. I'm too cute. Uh, uh, you won't make it, bro. You exactly. won't make it. <laughs> so hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you did, press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in this video. Bye, everybody.